think that Easter eggs and meatballs go together, but an Italian style Easter may be just the way to spice up your holiday meal this year. And here to show us how to do it, please welcome from the Brooklyn Meatball Company, Chef Joy Galusi. Oh, hello, hello there. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Always great to see you. Always great to see you. All right. Well, you were raised Roman Catholic. We have a new pope, so you have kind of another spin on a, an old Italian dish here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have some fun with some cannolis. It's oh, but not just cannolis. Holy cannoli? Yes, there we go. There we go. There, yes. Wait, speaking of holy cannoli, a bra? Oh, a bra? Yes, yeah. You don't understand these things. He's talking about the article of clothing that I just cannot do without. I have to have a bra. But that's, that's mine. If it was the only one. If it was the only one. I mean, okay, the, okay I just, yeah. I mean, just, all right. just because. I just, all right. What would be yours? Okay, never mind. Let's, do, let's cook. <laughs> yeah, let's start cooking. All right, so we're going to show those, those holy cannolis for dessert in just a little bit. But first, uh, you are known for your world famous meatballs. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And Easter Sunday is on a Sunday. And what better for Sunday dinner than meatballs and macaroni? So why not on Easter Sunday? Yes, absolutely. And make it all that, all that much more fun. Well, it breaks us out of that kind of the traditional, people might do the Easter ham and the whole bit. But what did you yeah. eat growing up? For Easter, was it? Well, it was it was always some form of uh, pasta, mm -hmm. a lasagna, meatballs. With a funny story, like my my grandmother and mother would always get together in the kitchen, go nuts, yell at each other, who did this better, <laughs> who was in whose way. It was <laughs> it was like a comedy show. I mean, they want to see reality TV. Go in my grandmother's kitchen right. on a holiday. That's <laughs> using too much <laughs> butter. No, you got too much sage. Oh, but right. um, you know, one Easter we actually just ordered Chinese food. Nobody really? Felt, nobody felt like cooking, so you know. That's, <laughs> But you know, when you think of Easter, you you also you know every every culture, every every uh, nationality has its different traditional foods. Mm -hmm. But what everybody enjoys are the sweets and the treats for Easter. Yeah. So that's why we're going to do the cannolis we'll and kind of like that in a minute. Let's dress them up. The the rules of doing a good meatball because sometimes they get too dried out, they're too hard. How do you avoid that type of thing? Well, the the way you have, the way you get the proper moisture in a meatball first comes with using some sort of liquid. When you mix the meatballs, mm -hmm. some people use water, some people use milk, some people use cream, some people even use their sauce. I won't tell you what I use, it's but you secret. have to use the right liquid. Yeah, because yeah. if he tells me, he's going to have to kill me. Well, not you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, and, and also the second, well, probably equally as important is cooking it to the right temperature, which is around 165 degrees. If you go over that, then you're going to start to dry it out. You know, you go yeah. in a dry oven, it's a dry heat environment. It's going to pull all the moisture out. Now, is it all meat, or do we do a combination with the kind of the bread, like you do the meatloaf, you throw the bread in there oh, to yeah, kind of yeah, stretch yeah. it you a little bit? You yeah. have to do the, so you have to so do the bread, right, right. Okay. And, you know, meatballs typically became so popular in, in, in so many cultures because, you know, it's it's a great peasant food. There wasn't that much meat. They'd stretch it out by using all those fillers, yeah. the liquids, the bread. You know, and that's that's another big controversy amongst the Italians too. Do you use breadcrumbs? Do you use the Italian bread? What do you do? You know, everybody. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm not telling you what I do, but everybody's got everybody's <laughs> yeah. got their way. What did your grandmother and your mother do? What I do. What do you do? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, that smells I, so good right now. I just took out my Invisalign because I'm going to eat. Okay, well, so you know I just took it out. Okay, so so here's what we're going to do. I got I got the pasta and the sauce going. I got I got the pasta here. So we'll just take a little. Remember, remember on Valentine's Day, I taught you how to toss to put the plate down. Yeah. Right? yeah oh, yeah. Look, I got the plate up you're already. You're ready. You're ready to go. We didn't even we didn't even get that. So what we want to do? See, a lot of a lot of. It's very important amongst the Italians to make sure that your your sauce is incorporated with the pasta, not too much. You know, you go to a lot of places that call themselves Italian restaurants, and they'll give you the pasta and just, you know, put a lump of sauce on top of it. Because the sauce so is really to be to add right. flavor, so not to be to, right. So you want to like coat the pasta, just toss, 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 pull out with the tongs, and we're gonna make a nice uh, familiar style meal here. Go into the plate. Let's just take a little. Oh, oh easy. I'm just, I'm just, just twirling it around there. Don't, okay. don't just twirl around. Right. Just wait, right. wait till I'm done, okay. then you could twirl. All right. Okay, now we put the meatballs. Yeah. Now, now you could twirl. We got the balls in the dish. Now you could twirl. Yeah. Okay. But now nothing is. Oh, aspect, okay. Aspect. My, okay. Little cheese. Uh huh. Little parsley. Okay. Little color, but it gives that nice fresh flavor on top of yeah. everything. Yeah. Great way to finish, and it just makes everything so pretty. That is that's pretty. In fact, that's too pretty for me to eat it. That's it. Now, here, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, now, here we go. Now twirl. Here we go. Twirl. I'm a twirl. Okay, I'm going to try to eat this ball. Okay, right, right we're doing this. Okay. They're bite-sized, Deborah. You yeah, could fit that. Yeah, I probably could fit this one. Let me see. I'm you could do it. You got the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I 
Alright, so now, now we're gonna. I can't feel it. I can't feel Alright, you just keep chewing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? What's the matter? You never had hot balls in your mouth before? <laughs> Where's Allison? We're gonna need those stretch pants. <laughs> oh, speaking of Allison. Well, growing up during Easter, it was it was so special because when me and my sister were kids, we we lived on in a two-family house. Mm -hmm. Grandparents lived downstairs. Every Easter, my grandfather would buy us a chocolate bunny. I got you a chocolate bunny. Do you? Yeah. Aww. Isn't that cute? Aww, thank That's you. Weird. And and speaking of fashion, it's very appropriate. I also went shopping for you, bought you a purse and shoes. Seriously? Oh, look at this. A little purse and chocolate thank shoes. You. Chocolate shoes, thank you so Aww. much, George. All right. My little bunny. So My anyway, little bunny. <laughs> All right, another time. All right, so come here. I need your help. Okay. Go like this. Okay. And we're gonna kind of hold this bag. Give me a okay. nice open, um, a nice open area. Okay. Try to do this without getting cream all over you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I think I'm gonna hold that open like this that. This is a pastry bag, by the way, that I bought. In uh, Central Market, H E B. Um, this cream mixture. And this is, is how professionals do it, because I get a glad bag and snip off the corner. Yeah, that's not. That's a great way to do it. Now, this mixture that I'm making is a homemade cannoli cream. It's regatta and fresh whipped cream. I mean, if you don't want to take your own cream. Well, I just want to make sure. That. You, you taste, oh, wait, no, it's about that. to come out right here. I don't want taste you to get that. that all over you. That's good. That's good. That is good. No. <laughs> So you make your quick. This is the Thai TV. Really. You go easy. Come on. It's just food. Um, all okay. right, you ready? I'm ready. Hold. Pick up a cannoli okay. shot. Okay. Now, right. now these these I bought in the store because you can make them homemade, but it makes a mess. It's a pain in the neck. Yeah. So so okay. what you do is very simple. You got your pastry bag, and just pipe in the cream, and make sure make sure you don't leave an empty space in there. Yeah. So make sure you see sides. the cream there. Now go into the other side. Okay. And just, you know, make it pretty. There you go. And like that. You want to try it? Yeah. So what yeah. I'm going to do, I chopped up some jelly beans. Since it's Easter, how could you have Easter without jelly beans? Yeah. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to put some color on there. Oh, these are heavy jelly beans. They're Texas <laughs> the size. Texas size jelly Yo, <laughs> I love my jelly beans. Anyway, all right, so that's that's one cannoli, but we're not done yet. Yeah, because you, got you can do like sprinkles right, on Right, right, right. You could do sprinkles. Now, Deborah. <laughs> I'm not a professional like you are, Joe. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, you did is, a great job. Look at it. The yeah. idea is that you can just go ahead but now, and decorate them any way you want using all kinds of things. And you could use things. anything you want. You know, traditional cannolis are dried fruit, which I don't particularly care for. Pistachios, but here's chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Ooh, I love so that. So let's too. dip into that. So you got a nice that chocolatey flavor. Sugar. Basically, your choices are endless. Joy, Tonight. happy Easter to you. And thank you for coming out here. Happy more Easter information to you. on Joey's dishes and his Do restaurant. The Brooklyn Meatball <laughs> Company. Just go to our site at greatdayhouston.com. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to have to finish the rest Manjani, of these meatballs. Manjani. These are really good. Okay. Spend a, spend a long day at the office, but come home with headaches and don't know why. The answer could be in plain sight. Find out next.